the 1860s, John Hyatt, a printer and amateur chemist in Albany, New York, made news when he discovered a way to exploit the long stringy molecules of cellulose found naturally in plants and created the first plastic. Fifty years later, Belgium-born chemist Leo Bakelin took the next step in the discovery process. One of the great pioneers was Leo Bakelin, who made a polymer called Bakelite. The usual thing, a chance favoring the prepared mind. He was mixing things, but he, he knew how to explore them. He saw the interesting properties of this. From two chemicals derived from coal, Bakelin discovered the world's first fully synthetic plastic. And the landscape of the 20th century was forever changed. What exactly is a plastic? Plastics are polymers. So what are polymers? Polymers are long chain molecules, not individual molecules that are then clumped up into any, a solid of some sort. They're really molecules that extend out very far chains of carbon atoms, sometimes with some other elements in them. So what are the advantages? Well, it's moldable. You can pour it in some liquid form into some mold. Strength, well, it's okay. that's not bad. You can make bulletproof vests from plastics. And we've certainly seen that in terms of fibers, they can mimic or even surpass the properties of natural fibers. No fisherman in the world is going to go back to having nets out of cotton, you can bet. They're, those nets are going to be out of nylon. So would you say the discovery of plastics is a great discovery? We have science making polymers, making nylon, making rayon, which has a natural starting point but is modified into a polymer, making plexiglass or polyethylene, those are the structural materials of our civilization. I think polymers are in that sense an example of the human creativity of chemistry. There's just nothing more beautiful than them. <laughs>